Welcome back everyone. Today's squishy package comes from squishyshop.com. This package only has about three squishies, so it's not going to be a very long haul, but I am pretty excited about what I ordered. I'm going to save the best two for last, so let's start with something small. The first squishy that I got is this Crayon Shin Chan Squishy. Now I know this as just Shin Chan um, because this cartoon used to air on Adult Swim. It is an anime. It's a show produced by Japan. It's just one of the more um, stylized ones that kind of looks like a kid's show. And I thought it was really funny. <laughs> so I thought I'd get little Shin Chan. Shin Chan, technically. It's pretty squishy, honestly. I was not expecting it to be very squishy. It's very soft, has a matte finish, very smooth. His eyebrows pop out. <laughs> but his whole face is pretty flat. Yeah, I'm surprised. This is very soft and squishy. Really nice. I know they make, um, I believe they had Shinchan, his dog, and somebody else. I want to say was also a selection, but I got the main character. Oh, and this is actually scented. It has that very sweet kind of perfumey slash um, floral smell. It smells really good. Just pure sugar. <laughs> like a vanilla cookie or something. I'm not really interested in these little sheep. They are really, really cute. But uh, I'd be more interested in what they smell like. <laughs> but it's non-resealable, so I think I'm going to keep it in the packaging just because it's not as squishy I see myself ever liking. It's by Umeno. And I know they had bigger versions of these squishies. I think the bigger versions were their first and this is a newer incarnation. Very squishy. Cute. So thank you, Cutie Creative, for that extra. Next, I have Melty Cinnamon Roll by iBloom. This is one of the newer squishies that they have. I also bought a different one. Um, I believe one is chocolate and the other one is coffee cocoa. So... They're very soft. They feel exactly like the, um, what you call it? The last squishy that I bought. The biscuit bread, I believe. And they come in packaging that allows it to stand up. And this is more or less the last squishy on my list, on my, um, quest to get chocolate. Because this is the last few chocolate squishies that I've seen. With the exception of the, the star bread, I think. But I don't think that one had a chocolate scent. So here it is. I like the shape a lot. And the overall bread texture is very similar to the biscuit bread and the torto, um, torte, whatever, <laughs> the cake. Um, so it's very familiar to me. And then we have this drizzle that's just a solid color. Very smooth. I like the contrast. Wow, that's so squishy. And then here's the packaging, or packaging, I guess it's just a little ribbon. It says Melty Cinnamon Roll. And to be quite honest, this doesn't really look like a cinnamon roll to me. The, the spiral at the bottom is not as pronounced, <laughs> so you can't really tell it's a cinnamon roll, especially with the drizzle at the top. But that's not an issue for me. I kind of just accepted when I first saw these that they were some kind of cake. These are really nice. <laughs> this does feel like it's trying to give me a chocolate scent, but I think I'm going to have to wait for it to air out because I don't really smell anything. I just smell the chemical <laughs> and a hint of that chocolate scent. But um, I have no idea if this is the chocolate one because it doesn't say on the bag and um, they kind of look really similar, the two that I got. But one, like I said, is supposed to be chocolate and the other one cocoa cream or something like that. Cocoa, coconut, something like that. But they are very squishy and I do like them. Let's see, I don't see licensing honestly. There's just a lot going on. 
I'll have to look at this again later because I don't really see licensing anywhere on this but I feel like I'm also just missing it so I'll look at this in a bit. I just want to get to the next squishy before my camera dies. The ribbons are the same regardless of fr flavor I think and this honestly looks the same. <laughs> oh I see the difference. So the top, I'm assuming this is chocolate, um, is a lot darker and the sauce is a little lighter for the cocoa cream or whatever this flavor was supposed to be. So this one has a pretty significant defect. Um, I don't know. I don't think it was from the ribbon. I think it's just maybe a handling. So as a reminder for anyone wanting to buy from Squishy Shop, they do not wrap their squishies at all. I think they used to, but nowadays I, with the packages that I've been getting from them, it's just purely the squishies in a bag. They don't put bubble wrap or anything on them. The one exception I would think is with squishies where they flatten the box. But other than that, you're just going to have to hope that your postal service does not wreck your squishies. So um, I'm pretty sad that, that that happened. That's pretty significant of a manufacturing defect. It's been like a solid two minutes and this thing is still rising. Um, but I did check my receipt and this is supposed to be cocoa cream. I can kind of smell the cream. Not necessarily the cocoa, but it smells pretty good. The scent is a lot less chocolatey, obviously, and I think as a result it's a lot less chemical-like. So this is nice. I do like these. Again, I'm sad about the rip, but what can you do? So I'm hoping once I have this one air out, it'll smell a lot more like chocolate and it'll join my growing collection of chocolate squishies. Okay, I tried my best to fit the whole thing in frame. Here is the Cutie Creative Jumbo Bun. This was a little pricey. I believe it was 30 or so dollars. Let me check. Um, it was $22.99, which is actually not bad because this squishy is huge. Look at my hand. <laughs> I would say this is around the size of that Punimaru Melon Bun, the really big one that I got. And, but it looked pretty squishy. I thought I'd give it a try. The packaging is completely crinkled, obviously. They had to stuff this in a bag. And with something this huge, it's just impossible. However, I do like that the bag is Ziploc instead of the regular sticky. Because with, with squishies this big, there's just no way the packaging is going to stay sticky. Here's what the back says. It says, do not eat me. For decoration only, collect all flavors. I think there's like a, a galaxy or a rainbow one. And super soft, slow rising, high quality squishy. Then it has encouragement to post it on Instagram or to follow them on Instagram. And their website. Oh my goodness. It's so smooth. Look at this. Full disclosure, I thought this was going to be a lot more squishy or slow rising. That looks like something from the packaging. It's not as uh, hollow as I was expecting. Like, you know, Cutie Creative tends to have a very hollow feeling um, standard for their squishies. I thought it was going to feel a lot more like these, honestly, where these feel a little hollow. There's some, there's some density in there, but more or less, they're just very soft to the touch. This one, however, takes some effort to squish. It's not necessarily dense, but you can kind of tell by how fast it rises that it's it's a lot denser than standard squishy from Cutie Creative. It does say Cutie Creative on the back. Wow. Um, but props to Cutie Creative for going the super jumbo route. <laughs> Uh, that Pudimaru kind of started. This one is a fun one. So it does have a fruity scent, however it's not. I was expecting bread, like a standard cutie creative bread smell, but uh, it's more of a fruity scent. It's not that strong. A little citrusy. So this one to me is very satisfying just because it's so smooth and round and it's just, it's just perfect. <laughs> it looks absolutely perfect. 
And um, to be quite honest, I can't really squish it that well because it's so big. There's really not much else to say. Oh, there is a void right here. Those little holes that end up in the mold of a squishy. Uh, but I mean, if you like the design, for a super jumbo squishy, that's not too bad of a price. Super fun. And that is it for this squishy haul. I will let you know in the description or some part of the video once I edit this, whether or not these two aired out fine. Um, thank you again, Cutie Creative, for the extra. Overall, I would recommend these squishies. I can't tell you what the Umeno sheep smells like though. I am a little disappointed with the Cutie Creative jumbo bun, just because other than the fact that it's so huge, there's really not much else to it. I feel like if they had made it a medium size, I would have liked it just as much. Um, and the scent is kind of weird. It's fruity instead of like a bread smell, which it smells good. Just not what I was expecting. I was also expecting it to be a lot more slow rising, but overall it is a pretty good squishy. Um, the quality for it is a lot different than the jumbo macaron squishy that I got from Banggood. I much prefer this texture and overall shape and design over that when it comes to a super jumbo squishy. So if you're into the design, if the smell sounds appealing, and if you like the amount of squish that you get from it, then I would recommend the Cutie Creative Jumbo Bun. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.